Boy, thank you. We thank you kindly. We, uh, we, uh, we're going to invite somebody out here that's uh, kind of going to, what's he going to do? I don't know what, I never know what Carlos is going to do, but we're going we're gonna to invite my good friend Carlos Reyes to the stage. Please welcome him. See if we can't, ah, red shoes, red shoes. He's got his red boots on, see? Now, anytime I see somebody wear red boots, I told this to my other, in my, one of my good friends, Tom Ring, I'm, we don't want him to click his heels three times now, do we? I might send you somewhere total. Maybe boss. we do. Maybe we do want him to click those heels three times. I don't know. Okay, that's enough. We're not in San Francisco, Roy. <laughs> <laughs> well, Anybody here been to Jazz Fest down in New Orleans? How many people? No? Oh, there we go. Okay. Well, Jazz Fest is going on, let me tell you right now. And I, as a man that has played Jazz Fest, I first played Jazz Fest uh, with John Lee Hooker way back when. And we're going to dedicate this to uh, our New Orleans brothers down there. I wrote this song when I was first on the road with John, and uh, it's called Crawfish City. True story. I've, uh, I get to the airport, and I'm going to play with John Lee Hooker, you know. This is in the 80s, and, uh, and the taxi driver looks at me, and he says, uh, well, I see you're going to play Jazz Fest. I got my guitar on my back. He says, yeah. I said, well, who are you playing with? I said, well, I'm playing with John Lee Hooker. <gasps> Stops the taxi right there. You're playing with who? I said, I'm playing with John Lee Hooker. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I got somebody that's playing with John Lee Hooker in my taxi. I said, well, I guess you do. And uh, he, he said, uh, my favorite blues man, it goes on and on. And, uh, and in those days, you know, the, in New Orleans, if you've been to New Orleans, they used to drive those humongous, like, Oldsmobile 88s for taxis, you know, Cadillacs. And now they're all small little SUVs, like, very efficient. But in those days, it was like, you know, Bonnevilles and stuff. And so, oh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So he says to me, he says, name was Junior. I'll never forget it. He says, you know, you look like a good guy. You're playing with John Lee Hooker. He says, tell you what, here's my card. Anywhere you go in New Orleans, you call me, I'll come pick you up. Now, that's like going to New York City and having a taxi driver hand his card. Yeah, I'll come pick you up anywhere you go. Sure you will. Sure you will. I'm going to hold my breath, buddy. You know, every time I call Junior... He was there within 15 minutes, which is not an easy task. That's the kind of stuff you write songs about, folks. Let me tell you. Anyway, this is called Crawfish City. Carlos. Down in New Orleans, the time is right for a Odyssey. A taxi driver named Junior at the wheel takes us on the ride of our dream. The streets at night as anything goes. There's no need for you to behave yourself. Nothing quite like it down in the south, down in New Orleans. The music don't stop, it plays all night down in New Orleans. La 
like Chip Patinas or the Maple Leaf Bar on the French Quarter Canteen. We're having some fun in Bayou Land on a taxi ride down the Esplanade. Smelling the air, I said this crawfish city down in New Orleans. Down in New Orleans. Come on, Carl. Carlos Reyes. 